With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. 31-year-old Kimberly Davis has been arrested, accused of stabbing a man around 9.30 last night on the west side on Kingston Street. Police say she stabbed that 33-year-old man that drove off. The man's friends tried to take him to the hospital, but they crashed at 8th and Davis Streets before making it there. The man later died at the hospital. Police say Davis knew the man, and it was not a random attack. Two women are in the Clay County Jail in connection with Thursday's disappearance of a 10-year-old that resulted in that Amber Alert. The women are 23 and 25 years old, each charged with interference with custody of a child and giving false information to a law enforcement officer about a missing person. The boy's grandmother has custody of him, the little boy. The arrest report says the 23-year-old has been trying to convince the boy to live with her over the last couple of weeks without the grandmother's knowledge. The 23-year-old has no legal parental rights to the child. In Duval County, the trial of the man accused of killing his on-again, off-again girlfriend has been placed on hold. Lee Rodarte is charged with second-degree murder and tampering with evidence in the death of Savannah Gold. The two worked together at the Bonefish Grill in Mandarin. Rodarte says Gold attacked him, and he was claiming self-defense, but the stand-your-ground motion was denied in court earlier this week. Rodarte has now appealed that ruling, delaying the trial that was expected to start on Monday. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.